think the one thing that's important to realize is that we live in an ever-changing digital landscape with hackers always attempting to gather access to our information or in find new ways to extort money from both individuals and companies. Educating your employees and having your data backed up is absolutely critical to a fast recovery time. Hi, my name is John Kettelet and I'm the manager of IT at Arvig. My name is Eric Wilkins, I'm a system engineer with Arvig and also in charge of information security for the corporation. Arvig was a victim of a ransomware attack. Essentially what happened was an email was sent to a number of Arvig employees. This email contained an attachment that would contain malicious viruses. The email in question looked like it was a legit email. It looked like it came from an internal Arvig company and it had an attachment that looked like it was a basic fax. The variant of ransomware that we got hit with is called Locky, and it is just one among several in the family of ransomware that essentially comes in as a payload in an email in a phishing type scam to get somebody to open the attachment, click on it, and then it runs. Now the tricky thing with Locky and many of its variants is once that they infect the system and they've done their damage, the file itself, the infector file, disappears. It deletes itself from the system so you can't track it back. Now, for us, what it did is Locky goes out and it accesses and encrypts, in other words, makes all your data inaccessible on every file that is writable on the user's computer and any files on the network that they have access to. So for us, it not only infected their local computers and all the data on those, but also infected all of the files on the file servers. Now, the way that this works and how uh, people that use it make money is that they hold the decryption key, in other words, how you unlock the files to get your data back, and then they demand a ransom or a payment in order to get that decryption key. We got notification from an end user that they noticed strange file servers with weird extensions and the files are no longer accessible. Thankfully for us, our end users noticed this quickly and contacted our inside support desk to generate help tickets. Our system engineers began looking at the file systems and we immediately realized that we'd been hit with a form of ransomware called Locky. They were unable to access files and many of them actually received a pop-up that basically stated that they would need to pay a ransom in order to unencrypt the files. Immediately to reduce our visibility and the impact that this would have, I had access to all the file servers turned off so that the Locky virus could no longer infect any of our files. Once this was done, we were able to do a forensics analysis and figure out which computers had actually caused the infection. At this time, we teamed up with our tech team who took those infected systems offline immediately and quarantined them for re-imaging and reissue. What's alarming for me is in this situation, the email was directed at supervisors at Arvig, which are employees that have had a lot of experience in the industry. So to me, it's very alarming that people that have been through these situations in the past could be attacked. So companies really have two options when it comes to ransomware. One is you can restore the data from backup or another medium, or you can pay the money, which can range anywhere from $5 to $5,000 to $50,000, depending on what the version of ransomware is. One of the more interesting facts about this is that this ransomware is now becoming more sophisticated. Initially, they would just blow this out to whomever, it would go out and infect the files and they would just demand a flat ransom, let's say $200. Now this ransomware has developed where it's actually calling back to the person that controls it and telling it how many files it has encrypted. So the more files it encrypts, the higher the dollar value is they're asking for in ransom. Luckily for us, of course, ours was a flat fee, but we did not pay it because we were able to restore from backup and save all of our data. So Arvig learned a number of things. I think number one, Arvig learned that you can never be fully secure. As a technology company, Arvig stays on top of a lot of the major issues that are out there. We feel that we stay ahead of a lot of the technology curve, investing in a lot of solutions such as firewalls, antivirus, and so forth. However, this incident showed us that you can never be fully protected. Secondly, I think it's important to educate employees not only about what's happening today, but ongoing, give them new education on things that are continually happening. Third, I feel it's important to have a effective multi-layer approach. And what I mean by this is a simple antivirus program or a simple firewall will not cut it in today's age. You really need to have multiple solutions to protect your network against these vulnerabilities. 
in the case of Arvig, we, we recently implemented an antivirus and a new anti-malware solution, which was partially effective in stopping the situation that we ran into. Fourth, I think this might be one of the most critical things, is having a good backup. At Arvig, we were fortunate enough to have a, a good backup that provided the ability for us to recover files that had been encrypted by this malware virus. So some of the things that Arvig definitely did correct is we run a, a solid backup system where all of our data gets backed up every day. Uh, we have people checking this every morning and throughout the night sometimes, depending on what's going on, to validate that we got good backups. We frequently test our backups to make sure that we can restore from a backup so that if something like Lockheed happens again, we're able to fully get our information back. The other important thing with backups and ransomware is to be able to store your backups in an area that's not accessible from your main network. So for us, if the user that got infected had had access to where our backups were stored, then the ransomware could have encrypted our backups and we would not have been able to recover from there. So again, another right is to have your backups inaccessible from your main network so that they cannot be encrypted. There's no 100% effective virus solution. These days it's not if you'll be attacked, it's when. It doesn't matter if you're a small business, an individual, or a large business. The attackers are out there, they will go after you, and you need to be prepared for when it happens and how you will recover.